when we, when we want to reflect that therapy, we have to find a reflection which is also performative for that way. So we can like fix the performance with itself. The second uh, term was mediality. And mediality goes together with the performativity. Because the thing which uh, new media are actually the transposition in between us and, and the images. So the mediality of the new media, especially of the new corrected images and the, the computer uh, workstations, is something, something which is in between us and in between the people in between the image. And uh, the, the problem is, uh, as I spoke about the sun, when we see and then we not see the same with the media, from the German media, sorry, we cannot speak about the, the media because the media itself, we speak in the media. We cannot speak about the language because we use the language to speak. So we want to, when we want to speak about the language, we, we have to find a media language which would actually go up the language and which would speak about the language. So this was the point when I uh, tried to think a different way about the media theory and about the way how we can speak about vision. And uh, I defined this, the third term, and this is the gesture of the game. And, I, and generally, the gesture of art. Because in the negative media theory, how is this paradox called, and you cannot see the medium itself, it's a gesture, something in between. The gesture is something between you and the other. The gesture is something between the social processes, and it has, and it has a, a potentiality of the body, the gesture, for example, the gesture of dance, when you dance with someone, you are with him, but you are on your own, and you with him praise something which is about you. So the gesture of vision uh, was in my intention uh, the definition of uh, an image which uh, is created in the performative uh, state of the performance here and now in the, in the now how and when the VJ creates his image and uh, the outcome of my thesis was uh, that it's not media theory who does the structures of VJ but it's actually VJ itself and all the experiments with the new technologies which uh, pushes the media to, to reflect and to think about what are media. So it goes hand in hand. And this, uh, uh, this was this, was, this was what I found out. And uh, my next step uh, was uh, to think about my meditation techniques, which I will go down with <laughs> Way how the philosophy 
creates his concept for material because they are searching, they are finding, they are remixing, they are mixing, they are stretching, they are rhythmizing, they are, they are animating. So the question for me is not what they are doing but how they are doing it. And the question about the medium, what is the difference of the medium? So my method is in my dissertation thesis that I want to DJ philosophy. I'm asking if a philosophic term can be shown in a, a DJ performance or if a DJ performance could be philosophical. And that leads me to a different kind of asking what would be the semiosis, what would be the process of that kind of image. And at the end, what would be the image of thinking, the image how thinking thinks. It is thinking, so the image of thinking itself, how the thinking thinks, the image of thinking itself. I think it's hard to explain, but <laughs> something like that. Yeah, so, images of thinking and thinking of the image. This is already written or are you working? No, no, tomorrow I, I, I have a written the proposal and tomorrow I will have my Instagram. Okay. And actually I don't have it here because uh, I couldn't uh, translate it from Slovak to English but I want to start with a haiku. You know everyone knows a uh, Japanese haiku? Yes. Yeah, so I wrote a haiku and I want to project with it. The haiku was like, um, the real now in the world. Don't represent something else, that is it, but it shows what is it at the moment. So this, this might try to to actually to step out of the linearity of, of the uh, media philosophy. I want to make a step to the to the different kind of showing, to the way of, of if an um, image has the attributes to have a philosophical concept, which I think it, it has, because my, my experience when I started to DJ actually shows me that the thinking itself is at the beginning, at our, in our mind, so at the beginning it's, it's visual. It's like, and then from the visual kind of uh, perception, we, we do like from, from, from transfer it into the linear kind of, of the language. And in, this is funny that in every language <laughs> it looks different, it sounds different, and it means different. But the term is the term, the term is itself, but it's already always, always a different kind of point of view. So like this is my aim to find a way how it can feel uh, the visuals. <laughs> but it's an experiment and I still don't know if it's possible I'm asking, so I hopefully can ask and find an answer. So do you have any questions? Uh, do you have some specific philosophical theory you are trying to Yeah, 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 but I didn't want it to, you know, okay. to like, uh, so. But uh, the philosophical theory I, I use is, um, my love book is uh, from uh, Deleuze and Guattari, of this philosophy. Mm -hmm. And there, actually, they write about that the philosophy is also creation. Philosophy is the same way of creation as the artistic way of creation. And what is good about the, that, in the point of view of the negative theory, media theory, the artistic creation shows the medium itself, because the medium shows itself only in the breaking points. When it's not, when the mediality isn't functioning, when the medium don't represent his, his uh, mediality, so we can see the structures of the medium. So therefore, actually, 
art is so important for the mediator because art shows terms and definitions in a different kinds of thinking than, than the academic theory does. So art in the second way is also very fruitful to the thinking of the when you, when you would like to read the technology, this is the life music of the on the internet. I, I wrote there also about um, electronic music and also about the discourse of synesthesia. Yeah. I'll show you. This is one of my favorite. This is a poem made by uh, Apollinaire. It's called uh, Bu, that means rain. And it's uh, actually, you can see that the poem is made by the rain. So this was an attempt to, to think and to, to write different than, than it's the modern event. It's interesting because uh, like, uh, I think you were touching on the cognitive philosophy, uh, basically that how do we learn word, world, and how we think about world, and if we exclude language from this, like what would happen? Do, do like kids who are like you know uh, grown up by wolves, do they think? Like how do they think? And like you know when when we don't use language, different kind of way. Yeah, cognitive psychology, psychology. Uh, deals with the code of the sense code actually, but the code yeah. of, of the sense is natural. It's actually in the brain, it divides itself in the, into, into the, the different parts. And the code at the point is, is actually now. Well, the interesting part is that uh, we are all like uh, from whatever age, we're just, uh, our thinking is suppressed by language. Well, we're taught by language. We start with the uh, azbuka and connecting images with letters and whatever. Like the language is pushed so much. But like, I mean, what would happen if, if you stop basing your thinking on language and you would start thinking with images? I mean, it's, it's even possible. <laughs> but I'm like, it could be possible. I think, you, I think we, we start to think with images. When, you know, when a baby can speak, it, you know, it sees. Yeah, yes, yes, of course, original yes. But then, but then there is this huge uh, system of language, which is, you know, forced to, and also like wish language, you know, so, so like the, the relativity of language itself. You're taught to, to think in uh, whatever language your mother is speaking, right? So, For, it's really interesting, I mean, like, uh, my, to, my to, point to, of to view is it. very radical in that, in that sense, because normally the dispositive of language is, is different to the dispositive uh, of, of picture. There are some attempts which try to glimpse it, but the classical academical stand is that you cannot like mix this. You know, but we see in all the experiments with the media and all the history that actually the the fascination which tries to build in the experiment led to new forms of view and led to like new expressions of what you can see, what you can show, and what you can visualize. And actually, uh, like cinema, Jinyan was quite beautiful, but we need an expanded cinema for our expanded consciousness. Yes. Yes. And it's not like expanded cinema is not like about uh, video art, about computer art, about know, holographic art, but it's actually man's ongoing drive to visualize what is 